graduating today. The parade field at the National Infantry Museum is now known as Inoue Field after a dedication ceremony honoring the late Senator Daniel K. Inoue. The ceremony took place in conjunction with the basic training graduation of two infantry companies. As a second lieutenant, Inoue was a Hawaiian soldier who served our nation during World War II, enlisting shortly after the attack on Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Lieutenant Inoue served with the 442nd Infantry Regimental Combat Team, a unit comprised of Japanese Americans. His patriotism is profound considering he chose to fight for his nation during a time when the government considered many Japanese Americans as enemies. In San Terenzo, Italy in 1945, Lieutenant Inoue was shot in the stomach, yet continued to lead his platoon against the enemy. When he lost his right arm to a German grenade, he continued to fight until he was knocked down by another bullet. For these actions, Inoue was initially awarded a Distinguished Service Cross. Decades later, it was determined his case may have involved racial discrimination, and in 2000, his Distinguished Service Cross was upgraded to the Medal of Honor. During the ceremony, soldiers from the 442nd poured soil from San Terenzo onto the parade field. The soil is not sacred in the container, but I, as soon as we dispersed it on the ground, to me it became hallowed ground, and I, and I consider wherever we've spilled our blood for the sake of the nation, for the sake of others, to be hallowed ground, and, and this was symbolic of that. As these companies complete their graduation, they tread on ground hallowed by their infantry forefathers. And while they are the first to do so on Inoue Field, many more will follow, giving future generations an opportunity to learn of Daniel Inoue's heroism and the legacy of the 442nd. Uh, my great uncle, Kenio Tomnaha, served for the 442nd next to Senator Inoue in World War II. As a, as a Hawaiian, it feels great to see someone recognized and appreciated by the nation. Lieutenant Inoue's life is marked by decades of service. After the war, he was at the forefront of Hawaii's statehood movement. He then served as a senator from 1963 to his death in 2012. David Wright, Fort Benning TV.